Hi there, hope you're having a good day. Welcome back to another video. Today, I want to take a look at the Waveway 10 Low. So the low top version came out around Valentine's Day. And this is the Valentine's Day colorway, as you can see. Uh, they go for 25 bucks cheaper for being a lower cut for 200 US dollars on waveway.com. I'll leave a link in the description if you're interested. I'm not entirely sure if they're making more colorways of the low uh, or what they'll look like, but there probably will be more to come. Uh, I personally been asked a lot about this shoe, uh, the release, and also how they compare against the original version. It's fair to say that demand is high. Encore performance is amazing. To me, they're at like top of the top 10 from last year. And to save you even more time, except for some non-performance related details, this is basically just the low cut version of the Wild 10. So you can expect the exact same level of performance. But let's still take a look at this nice colorway and run through the key aspects for you to consider. For the shoe box, it is a little bit of a downgrade to a regular cardboard surface in black versus the glossy finish on the white Waveway 10 box. It still has that, uh, what I like to call a D-Wave profile picture on top with the shiny wrapping paper inside. On the first look, the shape of the silhouette and tech features are pretty much all the same on this version, except for the cut around the collar. There's a small leather panel that has a Cupid love arrow and it says Waveway 10. The color choices really give off the Valentine's Day vibe. And the logo on the lateral side this clip is plastic this time, not like a windowed carbon fiber. It's a tiny detail, doesn't matter at all to me. The upper materials are still very thin and breathable. TPU toe cap, boom missile, and a full length carbon fiber plate. So anything that serves some functionality when it comes to performance was not changed. I do have to say the attention to details on this colorway is on point. You can find multiple tabs and patches on the upper that has meaningful dates and messages. Flipping it over, the also is the same too. There's just no numbers printed on those circles. It's got the same rubber that is grippy and stops really well. And again, they are very light. Not like extremely light on feet. Uh, my size 11 pair weighs exactly 400 grams on the scale. Almost the same weight as the original Wild 10 in the same size. Just a few grams of difference. So I consider them to be the same. Both are lightweight hoop shoes. Performance wise, you guys know that I love the Waveway 10. Traction is top notch. I have them as one of the bounciest shoes out there too. The full length boom missile has both a decent amount of cushion on feet and excellent impact protection to give you a secure landing. Just the right amount of caging too. It's not too hard or stiff, but also much better torsional support than I initially anticipated when I was bending these in hand. With the fit, I strongly recommend you to go up a half size from your true size or normal size Nike sneakers. They'll break in nicely, but even after sizing up, it's still hard to put on, so you have to loosen up the laces. But on feet, there's definitely no discomfort or anything. I just make sure you size up for the best fit. And the lower cut isn't too obvious by itself, but comparing it side by side with the original version, you can see the difference in height. They'll pick up some dust if you usually play on dusty courts, but it's pretty easy to wipe off. And man, this also is super loud and squeaky. That rubber just grips the floor so well. So yeah, these are basically just the low cut version of this. Uh, performance is amazing for sure. And I guess the good thing is that price is reduced by $25, but they're still very pricey and please do not pay resale for it. Even if you like them and missed out on them earlier. Because if you're paying extra money on top of the 200 retail, almost no shoe of any level of performance is worth that price to me. Just keep an eye out on their website and social media for the upcoming colorways and restocks. Anyways, I absolutely love these. Let me know how you feel about the low down in the comments or your experience playing in the Waveway 10 in general. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.